According to a 2012 report by the OECD, Greek students ranked below average in reading maths and sciences on PISA tests. This computer classroom in Moschato's third elementary school was developed five years ago as part of a curriculum reform to make schools more student-friendly. Putting the right reform in place was one step forward, but many challenges remain. What we do is we improvise. For example, a fact the students don't have textbooks providing a reference point, we instead give them notes on a notepad. In this classroom, for example, 25 children have to share only 10 computers. If one of the devices gets damaged, there's no money to replace it. The unions and teachers have always demanded a better infrastructure because it enables the teachers to better present their subjects. Amongst the other reforms were teaching English from the first grade and other foreign languages from grade five, extension of the schedule by one hour and extending the number of hours for extracurricular activities like theatre, arts and physical education. I like learning how to work with the computer because I believe we can use that in the future. I would like to have a science lab so that we can do experiments for physics. Many parents have welcomed the move, but in such a high-tech world, some might wonder if schools are still lagging behind the modern world's demands. The extracurricular activities like English and ICT or theatrical education, things that didn't happen in the past, show that there has been some improvement in this field. Schools demand more money to improve the quality of education. Politicians keep budgets tight, but maybe they have space for an innovation-driven education reform.